my favorite uh, Manitoba-based uh, album would have to be Propagandi's uh, How to Clean Everything. And the reason why is because uh, I discovered that album in uh, middle school when I was listening to like No Effects and like a lot of Fat Rec stuff. And uh, I was very much into that stuff, but it was like silly and, you know, fun. And, uh, and I liked that in a way, but then like uh, Propagandi, How to Clean Everything came out and it was like the lyrics and like the lyrical content like meant something, right? It was like about something that was like real. And that kind of connected a bit to like some of the hardcore yeah. uh, themes that I was digesting at the time. And it like, uh, there there was like very much like a, if there's a Venn diagram, there was a circle of uh, information within there that both like propaganda and like other, and like some punk acts were getting into and like hardcore bands were getting into. And like that content and that lyrical stuff was the stuff that, uh was compelling and, and actually interesting it like really massaged my brain and made me think you know what i mean and it's like i didn't expect that from that sound of music i just liked it because it was fast and stuff like that but then when you start to dig into it a little bit more it's like oh they're talking about stuff that matters to me you know what i mean and it was like you know kind of creating what mattered to me because i didn't even know about the stuff to know to care about it you know what i mean or whatever but uh yeah anyway that's a great album I'm like fuck can't believe that from here <laughs> I heard him in Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my or one of my favorite uh, local albums is actually by a fellow drummer named Curtis uh, Noah Sad. I'm sure uh, lots of people watching this now know who uh, Curtis is. He's been based in uh, New York now for at least five or six years. But why uh, his debut album, The Skeptic and the Cynic, was um, or had such a huge impact on me uh, was that he came out with that record in uh, 2012. And when I was uh, coming up on the uh, jazz scene and, you know, from 2007 till 2012, uh, Curtis uh, was someone who helped sort of show me that it was possible to be a um, drummer, to be a band leader, to be based here and to be able to write incredibly, you know, amazing and challenging uh, music. And um, so that helped sort of show me that that was possible, him with that record. And um, so that really helped me be able to believe that that was possible for myself. And that helped me be able to uh, write and release my own album, um, Apollo, um, at that time. So um, I know I think I told him that this at that time, but uh, without that album and without him, I uh, really don't know if I would have done uh, my album um, at that time. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to go on. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>